Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, September 17th. It's the 17th week after Pentecost, and week 4 in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 56, 57, and 58. John chapter 11, verse 55, to chapter 12, verse 8. And join me now in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice with all your tongues God's glory sing. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. Alleluia. Psalms 56, 57, and 58. And please recite them with me. Alleluia, be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. They fight me all day and oppress me. My enemies would swallow me, for there are many that fight against me, O God Most High. When I am afraid, I trust in you. I praise your word. I put my trust in you. I will not fear what more mere mortals can do to me. Every day they twist my words. All their thoughts are evil against me. They gather themselves together. They hide and mark my steps, because they seek to take my life. Shall they escape by doing evil? In your anger cast down the people, O God. You tell my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not written in your book? When I call to you, my enemies retreat. By this I know you are on my side. I praise your word. I put my trust in you. I will not fear what mere mortals can do to me. I am bound by the vows I made to you. I will render praises to you, for you have delivered me from death. Deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before you in the light of the living. Alleluia, be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for my soul trusts in you. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge until troubles pass by. I cry to you, God Most High, to you that performs all things for me. You will send from heaven and save me, from the reproach of them that would swallow me. Send forth your mercy and your truth. I lie among lions who would devour Saul, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongues sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. They prepared a net to snare me. My soul is bowed down. They have dug a pit in my path but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is fixed, O God. I sing and give praise. Awake my glory, awake psaltery and heart. I myself will wake the dawn. I praise you, O God, among the peoples. I sing to you among the nations. For your mercy is great and reaches the heavens, and your truth to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Alleluia, O oh, powerful ones, do you speak righteousness? Do you judge with equity? No, in your hearts you devise evil. You deal out violence to the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stops up her ears, which will not listen to the charmer's voice, no matter how skillfully he charms. Break their teeth, O God. Break out the great teeth of the young lions. Let them melt like waters which run off. When you bend the bow to shoot arrows, let them be cut in pieces. As a snail which melts, let every one of them pass away like the stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before they can put out thorns, take them away with a whirlwind. The righteous shall rejoice when they see the vengeance and they shall wash their feet in the blood of the wicked. 
And they will say, truly, there is a reward for the righteous. Truly, our God judges the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 11, beginning at verse 55. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and were asking one another as they stood in the temple, What, what do you think? Surely he will not come to the festival, will he? Now the chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that anyone who knew where Jesus was should let them know so that they might arrest him. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume, made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them on her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse, and he used to steal what was put into it. And Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Be merciful to us, O tender God, for we place our trust in you and will not fear those who oppress us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.